we already have some experience converting pH to hydronium ion concentrations with these formulas here. And the purpose of this video is to basically look at the same thing in terms of hydroxide ions and what we call pOH. So pOH is just a measure of how basic something is. It's really just the, exactly the opposite of pH. So you can measure pH or pOH on any solution. And if it has a high pH, it will have a low pOH and vice versa. So luckily for us, the equations we're going to use are going to look very similar. It's just that pH will be switched with pOH and hydronium ion concentration will be switched with hydroxide ion concentration. And a note in advance that significant digits follow the same rules as well. So we will expand our rule to say for pH and pOH, only the decimals after only the digits after the decimal are significant. So in this video I just want to do two examples using pOH instead of pH and make sure we can apply that significant digits rule. So here's the first example. Suppose we know we have a hydroxide ion concentration of 5.63 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per liter and we want to find the pH. Well we have a formula for that so pOH is equal to negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. So I'm just going to type in my calculator negative log of 5.63 E negative 5 and we get 4.24949 again no units on POH but looking at significant digits we originally had a number which had three significant digits and for POH only the digits after the des decimal will count so we can say this is equal to about 4.24 9 for our pH. So let's do one example going the other way. Suppose that we know the pOH to be 8.3 and we want to find the hydroxide ion concentration. Again we have a formula for that. Hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 10 to the minus pH or pOH rather. So this is going to be 10 to the minus 8.3 and 10 to the minus 8.3 is equal to 5.011 8 times 10 to the power of negative 9. And now for significant digits, we were given a number with one significant digit. That was that number 3 right there because the 8 is not significant, right? Only digits after the decimal are significant. So we actually have one significant digit here. So we will have to round this to be approximately equal to 5 times 10 to the negative 9. And it's a concentration, so it's in moles per liter. So you should see that this works exactly the same as pH. Our formulas look exactly the same. It's just we switch out for the basic side of things instead of the acidic side of things.